Hello everyone, in this video it's so dark. It literally hasn't been light for two days. I just love winter. In this video we're going to be talking about canvas views in show 5, so in particular how to add them, how to add content to them and how to make them transition. So I'm going to be using the testimonial slider as an example, but if you stick around later on in the video I'll just show an example of what else can be done with canvas views. So let's say for instance we wanted to chuck some testimonials into this section. So the first thing I'd need to do is come across, make sure the site tab selected and the page that we're going to be working on is also selected. Then I'm going to go to the page tab and then if I hover over this canvas you'll see that it's called intro. So if we come back over to the left, I'm just going to click on the intro canvas and then on the options button I'm just going to click and then we're going to add, well I'm going to add two canvas views. Now you'd need to add as many canvas views as you're going to add testimonials. I'm just keeping it at two to keep this video short, but if you need to add three, four, five, then that's fine. Okay, so next I'm going to make some room on the canvas for our testimonials. So I'm just going to grab this handle. I'm going to drag that down. Now it doesn't matter too much about the size of this at the moment. Um, we can adjust it later if we need to. And we'd need to do that for mobile too, but just to keep this video shorter, I'm just going to do it for desktop. So just keep it in mind that you would need to adjust it on mobile as well. Okay, next, I'm going to make sure view one selected. And then I'm going to come down and add some paragraph text. I'm just going to grab that and stretch it out to roughly the size that I want it to be. And then I'm just going to, with it selected, I'm going to come across to size and position. I'm going to center it to the canvas. And then I'm going to go up to textile and then justify it to the center. Okay, next we can put our first testimonial in. I've just got a couple saved here, so if we just click on that, we just highlight our first one. I'm just going to copy it, double click on our block, our paragraph text. I'm going to paste that in, and then I'm just going to italicize, if that's even a word. I'm going to italicize uh, our testimonial, I'm leaving the name just straight like that. Okay, so the first one in, I'm just going to adjust all this now, so we can bring the canvas size back to make it a little bit neater. And then I'm going to come across to the left again. Under view one, I'm going to select our paragraph text. I'm just going to press Command and C, or Control and C on a PC, and then Command V, or Control C on a PC. And you'll see that that's duplicated our paragraph block now. So if we just grab any one of them, and we drag it over to view two, I just want to make sure that that white box appears around view two, and then we just drop it in there. So we've got our text template in there now. So the reason I copy and pasted that from view one into view two is to keep it the exact same size and position to give us a nice smooth transition when we flick between canvas views. Okay, so we can stick our second testimonial in now, just come back over there and let's grab that one. Just get rid of that, drag our window back out and then making sure view two is selected, just double click on our box, our paragraph box. Paste that in, and there we go. If we flick between view one and two now, you'll see that they're in exactly the same position, and our new testimonials are in. So next thing, I want to make a transition between the two views, so it can automatically just rotate the testimonial. So making sure view one selected again, I'm going to come across to view transitions, and then I'm going to check auto advanced view, and then it gives us our options then for our transitions and our timings. So it's just a case of adjusting this to get it to display for how long you want it to display, whether you want it to fade, slide, and um, there's quite a few options in there. I'm just going to leave it all as default for now. And then if we come up to preview, and then scroll down to our canvas, you see that we've got our testimonials in now sliding through. Okay, so let's say for instance, then you wanted to put some prompts in to allow visitors to your website to manually transition between the canvas views. So there's a couple of ways we could do that. We could write next, maybe previous, and then link it up in the way that I'm going to show you next. But what I'm going to do is come down, I'm going to add an icon. I'm going to change this from our happy little face. I'm just going to drag it out to the side first. So if we double click on it, icon chooser, and then we can just pick any of the icons. I'm going to pick one of these arrows. Let's take that right down in size so it's not quite as intrusive. And then we'll put that there. And then I'm going to go to click actions. And then canvas, this canvas, and then next. And then I'm just going to uncheck all these apart from loop canvas views. And then the same as the way we copied the paragraph text before, I'm just going to click away from it, click back on it, Command C, 
Command V, and then I'm going to drag that one over to this side. I'm going to flip it round, and then come back over to the click actions. I'm just going to change canvas view next to previous. And then while I'm holding command, I'm going to come across and I'm going to select the two. So if we, we click on the two while we're holding command, I'm going to come up to align to group. And then I'm going to press command C, command V. And you'll see that we've got a copy of the icon over in there. So we need to drag that into canvas view two. And then we need to do the same for this one. So we make sure if we flick between the two canvas views, now we've got all our arrows in and everything's where it should be. So if we come up to preview again, and then down to our canvas, we can see that we can manually flick them between those two canvas views. So you're not just limited to testimonial sliders, there's lots of other things you can do with canvas views as well. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'd show an example at the end, so here's the example. So if you take a look at this screen, you see we've got buttons, we've got images, we can make the background change color. There's lots and lots of different things you can do. It's literally just a case of letting your imagination run wild and, you know, maybe you could go over the top of it. It's up to you. Depends what you want on your website. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. If you're not already, please do subscribe for more stuff like this and hit that little bell thing um, that notifies you when I upload a video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya. It's gone light.